What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. As you can tell I am looking a little green today so I hope it doesn't affect my performance too much in this video. But I did want to share with you a guide on something that I decided to work on this week since there's not a whole lot of information on patch 905 yet on the PTR and there's not a whole lot going on in the current patch of Shadowlands. So I decided to go out of my way and get Jiggle's favorite toy and make a guide for it. So, let's go find some cats and pet them and get them to cover us in their green sticky goo. That sounds way worse out of context, I'm sure, but I'm already committed, so let's do this. This video, like all my other guides, will be segmented out so you can jump around to whatever info you need at your leisure. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask in a comment below, or you can swing by my community discord. The link for that will be in the description of this video. So, Jiggle's favorite toy is the reward from the achievement 9 Afterlives. This requires you to find and pet all 9 of the slime kittens hidden around Maldraxxus. The reward is a toy that lets you interact with your battle pet, basically letting you have it chase a spooky laser pointer and it will jump on it, which is of course really cute. It of course is the most appropriate to use with Jiggles, the Necrolord specific battle pet, however it does work with any battle pet regardless of species, whether they're a cat or not. So these kittens are all over Maldraxxus, and one is even in a dungeon. I'll go over the location of each one and will include coordinates in a pinned comment so you can find them a little easier. I'll also have the coordinates on screen so you can follow along while doing it too. To make it a bit easier of a frame of reference, I'm going to be starting at the Theater of Pain flight path. I'd recommend queuing for Plaguefall while you're on this kitten quest though, because Hairball awaits you hidden away in this equally slimy dungeon. Hairball is probably the most time-consuming cat to reach, because you have to run the entire Plaguefall dungeon just to get to him. I'd advise finding Hairball after you defeated the last boss, as it's kind of out of the way and that's not a very considerate thing to do if you're in a pug group, unless they're okay with it, then I guess that's fine. Basically though, once you defeat Domina Venomblade, when you jump down inside of the last boss's room, you can turn right and head through this second doorway. On the left, you should see Hairball, waiting patiently for his promised pets. Back in regular Maldraxxus though, Puss in Boots will be our closest kitten, and he's located underneath the bridge that takes you to the Necrolord Covenant Sanctum. There is of course a ramp to go down if you want on the right hand side, but since we're speedrunning this achieve, I'll just jump off the edge and break my kneecaps. It's okay though because I'm out of combat so they'll magically regenerate over the next 20 seconds because RPG mechanics. As a heads up, since these kittens are pretty small, I recommend using a target macro to select them once you're in the general area. Just type forward slash tar and then either the NPC's full name or the first few letters of the name. You can also put raid marker icons on them to make them stand out a little easier too. Puss in Boots is very much out in the open, but some of these other ones are a little trickier to spot at first. Next we'll be heading to the Spearhead, which is the flight path to the west of the Theater of Pain. We'll keep heading west until we reach a fork in the road, because the spoon and the knife are still on the table. Bad jokes aside, you'll find Meow Malade resting in a wooden crate near this trained Flaywing and the NPC Rory Olamir. Snots is our next slime kitten, and it'll be just up the road from Meow Malade. Head up the hill and you'll find Snots munching on some fish bones while perched up on a box on the right hand side of the path. Nice and easy to get to, and we're on to our next kitten. Next we'll be heading up to the House of Eyes, so head back to the Spearhead flight path and take that to Carrie's Rest. We're gonna head directly towards the destroyed necropolis, so run through the field of green glowing goo and you should see Gorgantis the gutter standing alone. Turn left and you'll see a broken pathway that you can climb up, and on the right hand side you'll see Mayhem rocking out on a pile of skulls. Next we're gonna jump off this ledge and head south towards Lime. You might be confused at first if you just use Tom Tom or Waypoints, because where he's supposed to be there's just a pile of bones. This one actually tricked me for just a split second, as Lime is actually perched up on top of this big spiny bone archway. So you'll simply climb up the hill here, traverse the bone archway, fall off, traverse the bone archway again, and you'll be good to go. Next we have Mold Stoffelies. This cheeky little kitten is in quite a precarious position. From Lime's location, head south down the road. After a little bit, you should see some friendly Maldraxxi talking near a tunnel entrance on the right hand side of the road. Head through this tunnel and on the right there is a large mushroom tree looking thing. You'll want to circle around it to the back and you'll hop up these large mushroom sprouts. You may want to use a mount as it makes the jumps a bit easier, just be careful not to go over the edge. 
For this last jump, you'll want to face towards the base of the large mushroom tree and jump into the corner. It seemed to work for me the best at least. And there we go, Moldstopheles has been petted, and we'll be on to our next slime kitty. Next is Mr. Jigglesworth. I personally just went from Carrie's Rest through this tunnel and ran through a bunch of enemies. There are quite a lot, so being a sneaky boy and stealthing, or popping Vanish, or using a stealth potion, or something like that always makes this a lot faster. Or, you know, you can just slaughter them with Reckless Abandon, that's always fun too. Mr. Jigglesworth will be up on this hill in the far corner of the Grimoireum, enjoying some higher learning. Ha! Get it? Because he's in the air, and he's with books and flying around and stuff. Yeah, okay, that was pretty bad, I know. And lastly is Envy. For this one, I'll be using the renounced Bastille Flight Path as the point of reference. Head southwest away from the Flight Master, and then you'll take a very slight left turn. You should see some frightened fungrits in a cave to your left. Keep running forward, and you'll jump down to find Envy having quite possibly slain three necromancer-looking NPCs. Or they killed themselves out of Envy of the Slime Kitten, not sure either way, but that's pretty intense. And there you have it, folks. A step-by-step -step guide on how to find all nine Slime Kittens of Maldraxxus, resulting in the achievement, nine afterlives, and earning the Jiggle's favorite toy as a reward. This toy can be used with any battle pet, so it doesn't have to just be Jiggle's from the Necrolord Covenant. So if you want to use it with another cat, or a dog, or an eyeball monster, or tentacle beasts, or whatever you have in your menagerie, then go right ahead, every two minutes. Anyways, I hope this guide proves useful to you. If so, please consider leaving a comment, a like, or sharing it with other folks, as it's all greatly appreciated and helps a lot with the channel's growth. And as always, I want to extend my gratitude to you, my viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.